Hello, this is Michael G, back with some more Dark Cloud. In the previous video, we pretty much completed a lot of the village to the halfway point that we needed to, uh, almost complete Trent. Uh, I think we need one more floor to get some river. But, first things first, we actually completed an event with Bumbuku, where he ate something coiled, sweet, and white. Now, if you remember me saying it before, we did have something that we needed to keep for later on to start a side quest. And that was the... If I can find it... Uh, ah! Candy! We got from uh, Tubby. Ah, that's it! Lulu, look at this! I'll give you this if you come down. Here! Very nice. Gee, thanks! Let me turn the favor. Sorry, we don't have much we can give, but please take this anyway. We get... Ointment Leaf! So... They say in the East you can make cure-all medicine from this leaf. Seems you're traveling, so this may come in handy. So yeah, essentially, yeah, this is the start of a huge trading quest that will span throughout basically the entire game until the final one of the final zones. So every basically basically every area has a person who wants to get an item traded to them. This is this one. And I think there was uh, another person in this area that will give you candy if you missed it. But I can't remember what he gives if you have it now. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine though. Anyways, now that that's done, we need to go to, back to the Wise Elf Forest and complete the next floor so we can finish off Trent. Uh, another thing I did off screen was I did get all my fishing bait I had stored away and sold it and picked up a couple more holies because I will need those um to level up my weapons because it looks like they both need holy so uh, I kind of used uh, kind of bought some holy ah son of a well I guess I'll use I guess I'll use her since Steve just got upgraded, that's lucky. Yeah. Ah, uh, Mimic! Yeah, I ain't using, uh, ooh! Shiny Stone! Yeah, there's no point in, um, killing monsters then in this floor. Stone, that is honestly useless. Eight. Ooh, ten gold, never mind. Uh, we get... River... Mushroom House. Oh! Nope! Nope. Okay. So... I'm gonna try and avoid enemies until I can... Because I did get the Shiny Stone. I want to see if that is the gate key on this floor. Ooh! River! Okay, yep. There we go. That finishes off Trent. And here we go, we get more river. Okay. I'll take more river. Uh, let's see, over here we get... Ooh, chest. Mimic. Mimic. River. Ooh, now we get all this river, what the heck? Why is it now that we're getting all this river? Magic crystal. Oh, nope, out of the way. Hmm. I assume it's probably up top, the exit. Oh, wait, no, exit's right here. Oh, very nice. Uh, shiny stone. <gasps> okay, very nice. That is very lucky. Now we can just go on straight to the next floor. But let's get that Giorama first. Not stairway to heaven. And now we can get some 
Earth A. Ah, we got Earth A, and we got Earth B. Uh, oh! That hurt. A little. Yeah, not really, actually. Ooh, a flea flea. No flea flea. Go away, flea flea. Uh, anyways, let's go over here. Let's see the chest. We get repair powder. Always appreciated. Is this a mimic? It is a mimic. Uh, avoid the pricklies. Get the Atla, which is a river again. Oh, now it's just being a prick about it. Even more river. Got oh, ow. Okay, I kind of walked right into that. To be fair. Okay, so uh, we have everything we need. Let's get out of here. Can avoid all the mimics since you know don't really give anything. And let's go to the next floor. Okay, this should be the mid floor. Yep, territory nine. Okay, quick time. Let's try and get perfect. Oh. Fight again. Okay. So this I can keep easily redoing. Unlike the previous one. Ah. Darn it. Oh yeah. Let's try that again. Okay. Attempt number three. Ah, that was a failure. Yeah, but you might be seeing these enemies and you're wondering what they are. These are werewolves. Uh, these are fairly... I wouldn't say difficult, but they're... Probably some of the tougher enemies in this level. Ah, oh, again the last one. Ah, oh, damn it! It's always that last one. I'm not gonna reset the level just to try and, or reset just to try and get that. Yeah, that's just gonna be annoying. Okay. Well, yeah. As you can see, there's nothing we can really do. There's a thing we can do here. If we go here, actually if we click it, it smells like a snake. Ah, we have an item that attracts snakes. Let's use that. And bop comes the killer snake. The legendary creature that apparently killed Fudo. Dodge the attack. And we jump on it and. Oh! Doesn't work. And we are eaten alive. Fade to red screen. Which is very bright. Yeah, so, yeah, temporarily leave the dungeon. We cannot kill it. It is impossible to kill the killer snake right now. Uh, so, first things first, let's. Bring back Trent by fixing up the river. Ooh, we also have the mushroom house. I could. Yeah, you know what? Let's put that on the mushroom house. Why not? Uh, where's the door to the mushroom house? Is that it right there? No. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So let's place a torch right here. I want a. S oh, I don't even have a sign. Yeah. I want Annie though, right there, and might as well talk to Annie and see what she wants. Mm, she's inside. Okay, Annie! Oh, I haven't seen you around here. What do you need for your house? We need a second floor. We store things there. We have so many things we need to find room for. Oh, uh, no, down. I want around, oh, around. That any are in the way. Uh, I'll come back for that chest. Okay, I don't think I have a second floor for it though. I do not. 
Okay, so, yeah, river. I have 20 river. Oh, boy. Yeah, that is a lot of river. And, bada boom. And if I go right here. We get a beautiful cutscene of the waterfall and the water gate. And a couple of puckles jumping around. Where they're going to open the gate. I don't know why they opened the gate, but sure, why not? There we go. So now we have the river full of water, which means Trent is probably revived. Ooh, plant Buster, thank you. I will take that. Uh, so now that that's all full of water, if we go over here, bada bing, oh, uh, bada bing, and go over here. We will see that. Wait. Wait. Oh, we can hear that beautiful music. And that was a motorcycle just going by my house right now. Yeah, we see Triant in all his glory. I don't know if I call it glory. He looks like a big, uh thing. I don't know what to really call it. Beast Buster, I'll take that. Fruit of Eden, I will take that. Gourd, I will take that. Anyways. It's gibberish. Use item with square. Yeah, you want to use the uh, hunter's earring. This is what we got this at the very beginning with uh, with uh, Jubby. And we're only using it just now. <laughs> so, tell me now, little one. Is it you who saved me? Uh, yes. Oh, good heavens. So it was you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks so much. Let me reward you with something then, little one. I don't need to add voices for that because that's basically voices by itself. There you are. On. Please accept this. This is what all hunters long for. It's a rare, legendary item. The Serpent Sword. Do do we got the serpent sword. Very nice. This sword never breaks. Not until accomplished its mission. Or not until accomplished its mission. Wait, eh? Eh? Wait. Not until accomplished it Here, let me say what it should seem. Not until it accomplished its mission, that is. There we go, that's proper grammar. But once the mission is over. It's breakable sword, like any other. It's a rare item. Take care of it, little one. So yeah, he basically gave us a wonderful sword. He gave us the serpent sword, which is weaker than our, or, or to be fair, our chopper we upgraded quite a bit. But yeah, it's a very decent weapon. Like if we check the stats, it has pretty good stats all around, honestly. Pretty good stats, so... As much as I hate to do it, I'll probably will be synthesizing this weapon, uh, later. But, yeah, that's all we really need to do for Trent. He gives us a Serpent Sword. Now, what is its mission? Hmm... It was meant to slay a mighty serpent. And if you guys don't know, you should know this, though. A serpent is another word for a snake. Hmm, now where have we seen a snake that somehow cannot be killed by any other normal means? Huh, I wonder where, and actually I just realized, uh, before, 
before I go in there, uh, I'm actually going to go back out. I want to save, because I do want to try and get this, um, gem. And just watch as I screwed up again the very last one. So if I do screw it up on the very last one, I will exit this game and I will come back in because that is baloney. Okay, there we go. It's definitely saved. Uh, let's go to that floor again. Okay, there we go. Back to Territory 9, and now, go to over here, the Snake's Cave, play that flute. And there goes the Serpent. Look around where we are, we're getting ready with the Serpent Sword, and this time, Quick time event pops up. So you know you got it right. Oh, I got it cool. Okay. First try. No, okay. Darn it. I was close. I was close. Darn it. Yeah, fight again. Okay, I think this might take a few tries, so I think I will, uh, just continually cut back to the actual fights, just so you guys don't have to keep watching that stupid red screen of death, because that is, uh, seizure-inducing. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys back again. Okay, here we go again. Bada bing! Ah! Uh, bada bing! Bada bing! Bada bing! But Oh, I messed up that one. I saw that. Darn it! Ah, uh, it's so close. Okay, got a cool. Ah, uh, okay, I realized that was way too early. As soon as I press the button, I'm like, oh nope, that's gonna be way too early. Darn it. Ah, again. Ah, oh, that was way too late. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, wait. Oh! Ah! Oh! Darn it! That was so close. It. Ah, darn it. Like, I'm realizing I'm hitting it too late, and that's the thing. Ah, darn it. That was way too early. Darn it. No! Ugh. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Ruby! Oh my god! Oh! I think it was much too loud there. Oh my god. Serpent Sword has completed its mission. It is now an evolvable sword. Oh my god. Oh! That took much longer than it should have been. Bone Pendant. I wonder what this is. But yeah, so... You killed the killer snake, but... Looks like a switch from this door seems like smashing it would do something to activate. 
So yeah, even though we killed the killer snake, we can't uh, go any forward. So we still have to leave the dungeon. So yes, Mata Takula. So we've had a couple clues as to about um uh a certain guy, Fudo, who's related to a certain large orphan kid who is um to say the least uh, a bit of a jerk. Uh, we've heard from the mayor that he has a son who's larger, also a hunter though. Fudo was killed by that snake, possibly from the musician. And we just got a bone pendant, pendant worn by Fudo. So that kind of confirmed that it was the snake. So, hmm, I wonder what would happen if we showed the pendant to this little boy here. Well, I guess he's not really little, but... You don't give up, do ya? What do you want? So, cheesecake! I have a present for you. Wait! This is my paws! Where did you get it? Yes, so yeah... I... Cheesecake, or Goro, is Pudo's son. What? That's a little strange. Oh no. Pa! Not gonna lie, he looks badass. He like he does look like a badass there. Cheesecake, how have you been? <laughs> oh my god. Uh that just makes it funny when saying cheesecake. Oh my god. I'm so happy I named him that. Thank you, Reddit. Dad, where the heck have you been? I thought you were dead. I'm sorry, Cheesecake. Forgive me for having suddenly left you all alone. Cheesecake, I'm no longer of this world. I am a spirit now. No, you're lying. It's the truth. Before I died, I put a message for you into a pendant. The father you see is that message. Listen carefully, Cheesecake. The evil force that attacked this village is now devouring the entire world. With your allies, you must stop. Wait, I just realized. If this is a pre-recorded message, how the heck does he know the evil is around the village, or destroyed the village, when he was killed five years ago? That seems a bit ridiculous. If you're really my son, then show me. Honor me and all hunters through your courage in battle. No! No way! Everybody in the village left you to die! I ain't gonna help those cowards! You must, uh, you must understand them. I was not betrayed by my fellow villagers. As you know, I was said to be the best hunter in the village. I killed even the brutal white tiger in one blow. But my body was be gradually weakened by an illness. And I realized I had very little time left for myself. I was a prideful hunter. My pride would not allow me to die of illness. I wanted to die in battle as a hunter should. One day I went into the woods where the fearful killer snake dwelt, taking with me several villagers. I thought the powerful killer snake would be a perfect opponent to end my career as a hunter. But deep inside, I wanted to die in this battle. That very hunt was my plan to end my life with pride. Thus, I challenged the killer snake to a reckless fight. I, of course, fought my best. But it was obvious I was not a match for the killer snake with my body weakened by illness. In the end, the killer snake got me and started to squeeze me slowly. I wonder if he, if he was in his prime and wasn't sick, would he have actually been able to kill the killer snake? Hmm, interesting. And soon I saw my fading flame or fading flame of life flicker. Wait. Let me say that one more time. And soon I saw my fading flame of life start to flicker away. That is a tongue twister. 
It was what I had wished for. I chose to die with bravery. The villagers that were with me left quietly. I still remember the sadness in their eyes. They probably all knew. Knowing it all, they stayed to see it through to the end. They still, to this day, speak of me as the strongest hunter that ever was. I mean, couldn't you have at least told your son that that's what you were planning instead of, like, you know, abandoning him, becoming an orphan, you know, that kind of thing? You call them cowards, Cheesecake. But they kept the truth hidden out of respect for me. But, but, but why? Why did you do that? Cheesecake, one day you'll understand. I'm a hunter. I wanted to die an hunter, not an invalid. And you, you're also a hunter. Go fight, Cheesecake. Join with other warriors and fight evil. Be a greater man than me. Cheesecake, I am always with you. And of course, he starts crying. It is very sad though, how he lost his father and he's like, this is the reunion he, he gets. Basically saying like, be a better person. It's, it's, it is kind of sad. I hate you. I hate you, Pa. Uh, I ain't your daddy. What are you looking at? Me saving the world? Not likely. But I want to give it a shot anyway. Not for the villagers or my dad. But for me. I'll fight for me. I'll become Cheesecake, Mighty Hunter of Life. <laughs> Oh, okay, I, I can't take that seriously. Cheesecake becoming an ally, became an ally, oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, I couldn't hold that in, that was actually pretty funny. Call me whenever you're in trouble, I'll do better than you. To be fair, he is quite powerful. So yeah, so now we have, oh, if I can go in allies, we have Cheesecake. Who has a mace to start with as his weapon. Or mallet, I guess. Uh, no elements. And not many of those. Well, of course, it's a, it's a uh, starting weapon, so I wouldn't expect it to have too many starting attributes. But yeah, 20 attack to begin with. He's, yeah, decent. Decent starting. But yeah, hopefully I can get a good weapon from before the end of this dungeon. Maybe a battle axe. Battle axe would be nice. Oh, wait, I see that. Mick Breaker. Ooh, cool. Okay, so, yeah. I think. Actually, what do I have? I have gourds, don't I? Uh. Yeah, I have. Ooh, a ton of gourds. And fruits of Eden. Ah, uh, let's give these to Cheesecake. He kind of needs them. Okay, yeah, let's give another gourd to Cheesecake here. Okay, let's give a Fruit of Eden to Cheesecake. Very nice. And let's give one to Meow Mix. There we go, very nice. Okay, and that's six. Okay, very good. So, uh, that will do it for this video. In the next one, we'll start continuing the, uh, Rise of the Forest. Uh, I think maybe, probably two, maybe three more trips could probably finish off the, uh, dungeon. Yeah, probably two or three more trips. But if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. It'd be very much appreciated. But until next time, see ya, and stay golden.